Hello, good morning everybody. We are here to uh, show our profile cutting laser today. It is 6 meter and 170 millimeter diameter, 120 by 120 square and 100 by 150 rectangle profile cutting. Actually, uh, our minimum loading size for the automatic side it is 20 millimeter and on the manual side it is 12 millimeter and the wall thickness to cut maximum with this two kilowatt laser eight millimeter my steel and minimum is 0.8 millimeter my steel so we can serve to you as two kilowatt and also three kilowatt on the other side our machine loading size is 6,500 millimeter net and I would like to talk about our main partner companies our suppliers you know uh, we are cooperating with IPG company and we are producing our own resonators as relays so on this machine we can give you as the laser source 2 kilowatt or 2 3 kilowatt IPG or 2 kilowatt or uh, 4 kilowatt relays. So on this machine, we have also chiller filter uh, units as a standard, including the machine. So our software company is Lantec. The model is Lantec Flex 3D. And we have on this machine, I would like to show you our components. To cool the laser system and the cutting cat, we are using Durma Chiller. And our supplier for the laser, laser source is from IPG. We are using IPG YLR type. This is two kilowatt machine. To collect the, all the dust from our machine, we are using air duction, suction filter. There are cartridges. Lifetime of the cartridges are five years. But every year once, you have to clean all the cartridges. When the cartridges are full, there is an indicator that shows how much it is full. When it comes to red, you must clean or replace the cartridge. Our cutting cat is from Presitec company. The model is light cutter motorized F125 or 5 inch. Our control panel is from Siemens company. Also, we have some options on that machine as seam detection. We have a camera here, system here. And during the operation, this front cover is automatically open and it's detecting the seam side of the rectangle or square tube. And, ac ac and according to the operator wish from the control panel, you can select which edge will have, have the contours on the profile. On the machine, we have also, we have pneumatic centric chuck on this machine. We would like to show you how it moves manually. You see, there, there are two levels of the clamps. When you move these two, those two screws from right to left or left to right, you can arrange the size of the profile to load on the cutting area. So it's very easy. Four chucks, four clamps, manually adjusted. When you cut up to 100 millimeter or more than 100 millimeter, you can position the screws, the clamp positions. On the other side, we have Hydraulic chuck, you see. Similarly, we have those two screws on the clamps. 
each four clamps and we are positioning according to the up to 100 or more than 100 millimeter sizes. We are repositioning them. We have exactly uh, from 12 millimeter up to 100 millimeter or from 100 millimeter up to 170 millimeter diameters. We have also pneumatic support arms. You know, this machine is capacity six meter. Just move X axis to the front. You see, automatically, the pneumatic supports are moving from up to down. Yeah. We have also the first support. We have also another mechanism, just centering the profile just before the cutting area. Only this support has this system. It is centering the tube just before the cutting area. On this machine, basically, we can cut square, rectangle, or round profiles. Even, as an optional, we can cut L, U, or C types of beam profiles. The cutting, the cutting accuracy of this machine is 0.2 millimeter minus plus. On this machine, also, we are offering uh, as an option, spatter protection. This option is not av available on that machine. And even laser sensor, sensor centering system is an option for that machine. Also, it's not available on that machine order, actually. On this machine, when we cut, you know, uh, at the end of the profile, there is also always a last cut length. On this machine, this is 145 millimeter. Maximum load of this machine is 37.5 kilogram per square meter. Now, I would like to uh, start the cutting process of 60 millimeter square tubes. The wall thickness is 1.5 millimeter. Just when we come to control panel, we are selecting the cutting program from the task list. This is, as you see on the screen, 60 by 60 millimeter. And thickness is 100, 1.5 millimeter. And the length of the profile is six meter. Let's continue. Just on the loading area, the pipes are coming to the loading chains. I have put already three pieces profiles and first they come to the first chain. This is the first chain. This is slower than the other one and then it's coming to the second chain. Now it is faster. There are two chains, one is slower, other one is faster. It is helping, it's helping us to separate the profiles. After the profile loaded, the length measurement system is moving. Even we give to the machine, it is 66,000 millimeter, it's measuring, it's correcting. If, if, if there is some problem about the material length, the machine automatically stops and giving a warning message on the screen. Now, hydraulic chuck clamp is pushed to material. Now we are ready to cut.
Şöyle bir tane daha keselim. Sonra durduk. Durduk önce durduk. Now I would like to show you. I pause the cutting. This is the remaining cut. And on the grippers, the second profile is ready. On this machine, the first profile is coming to the cutting area in 65 seconds. The second one and the others are coming to the cutting area in 45 seconds. So first loading time is 65 seconds and the second and the others are 45 seconds. So I would like to discharge the material. You see, it's manually moving and my engineer is discharging it manually. The first profile. Now we would like to cut the second profile as a round one. But when we are cutting the square, we are using this shape of support. When we will cut the round shape of the profile, we have to use that kind of support. So my engineer is now replacing. Very easy, very easy, Andrew. You see, it takes only a few seconds. As you see, my engineer, each support, I guess, we changed in five, 10 seconds, each one. Totally 30 seconds, all of them are ready. Now, we, we would like to show you how to cut manually. When you are cutting a job like this, so many pieces, but one customer comes and he would like to cut his profile first. Now we are inserting another job. We are moving the drive chuck manually. We prepare the machine. Now my engineer is loading the second profile as manually. You see, the important point is just put the profile here, just on the laying area. That's enough. Then we are coming again on the control panel. Now we are loading. This is the diameter 40 millimeter. It's clamped. The support system is adjusting itself according to the diameter of the pipe. It's ready to cut now. Now we start the machine for the cutting. You see, there is a pneumatic support. It is up to 80 centimeter, 800 millimeter length of the profile. It's an option uh, will be signed by the operator. So like this 30 centimeter pieces, you can collect all the parts inside the scrap box, helping with this pneumatic support. But more than 800 millimeter length, more than, so you don't need the system. The unloading uh, system automatically comes inside the machine and the cutting parts are dropping down in onto the scrap box again, helping with the unloading system. This machine also we can offer uh, as an option from our system. You know, now all the parts are dropping down onto the scrap box, but if you want to discharge some distance from the machine, on the front or on the back, you can order from us from our system as an optional. On this machine, minimum length for the automatic loading is 3,000 mm. So less than 3,000 mm pipe, you cannot load automatically. You must load manually. Between 3 meter and 6.5 meters, you can load automatically all types of profiles. Also, 
We have one another machine in the production line. I would like to talk about its option. This customer is cutting some special profiles, and profile types are almost 20 different types, and we must detect for each profile the shape of the profile, like D shape, like ellipse, like Orbrand, and that kind of different profile. So this system we are now testing, and it looks very good working now. We would like to deliver this, this machine two weeks later. So it will be an option. It's not on the written catalogs now, but we can also offer now, from now. We, will, we are also detecting the shape of the profile, like D profiles, like ellipse, like any kinds of special pro, uh, profile. It's coming very soon, in two weeks. I would like to tell you. I would like to show you the shape of the profile also. Like that kind of, this is for the bedroom industry. When you put this profiles onto the machine, nobody can know in which position the profile will be automatic loaded. So just before the cutting area, we put three sensors and they are detecting the shape of the profile. So when the clamps are clamping the material, like this shape or this shape or another shape, it's already will be detected from the machine. So all these holes, contours, will be machined in the center and in the correct position. This is one sample of the real customer. This is optional. Uh, we didn't, we didn't uh, clarify the optional price, but next in next two weeks it will be clear actually so this is very important step as i know only true company has this option on on his machine so we are coming second we are detecting the profile shape uh, a profile shape detection yeah it's coming in two weeks it is almost ready now. We are started to test real customer materials. And two weeks later, we will valid validate. I'm preparing. Give me two minutes only, OK? Now, can you see it's moving up and down and left to right? Uh, actually, my old programs are uh, smaller than 80 centimeters, so it's not in the automatic uh, record now. Yes, it's dropping down like that. So I would like to show you the mechanism inside, my engineer. You see, we have extra two axes. One is up and down. These rollers are support rollers. You know, also we have two types of rollers. For the square tube, we have that kind of. And for the round tube, another type of rollers. And these sliding arms, these rollers are going up and down. When they are coming to the down position, the profile is automatically stays on this surface and automatically slides onto the scrap box. Exactly. When you have conveyor option, just after the sliding arms, we have added one horizontal conveyor system to discharge the material just, uh, just around the machine, like two meters, two and a half meters. So this scrap box is not here anymore. It's just away from the machine, like two and a half meters. So this helps to the operator during the cutting when he would like to, at the same time, to pick up the materials after the cut, he will not break the cutting area anymore with the helping of conveyor system. So the cut materials will be transferred away from the machine and operator will easily 
collect all the materials without breaking the machine cutting area. In this organization, the operator can pick up all the cut materials after all the cutting finished. Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, more than half of the customers are buying the machine with the conveyor option. Let me explain like that. Also, yeah. Exactly, exactly. You have to wait until all the cutting finished. But on the conveyor side, you don't have to wait. With the helping of the conveyors, the materials after cut transferred away of the machine, away from the machine. So you cannot, you don't need to break the machine. So you can continue to cut even on the other side, you can collect all the pipes after the cutting. Actually, very similar to 2D cutting laser, uh, the main issue is the cutting head. You know, we have on the cutting head, uh, we have some nozzles. You know, this is standard Presitec cutting head, and we are always supplying the machine with the original set of the consumables. So these nozzles worth six, seven dollars. It's a standard from the Presitec. There is one ceramic part just against the crash to protect the, all the cutting cat itself. It is broken when you make some accidental crashes. A nozzle plus ceramic. And in this cassette, we have a lens protection glass. And this protection glass is protecting the lens area, all, all other optics. Actually, those three components are uh, mostly consumables that you will use because they are getting worn in the time. One lifetime of the nozzle approximately, I guess, two weeks. Protection glass, two weeks. And ceramic is accidental, but when I ask the machine operators in the area, they mostly tell me once a month they are replacing the ceramic. So this machine, we show you the cutting with the materials by nitrogen, very, very important and very big advantage of that machine. Mostly in the market, the wall thickness of the profiles or the tubes are maximum three millimeters, an average mostly. Of course, some customers are cutting thicker materials. So up to three millimeters, including three millimeters, this machine can easily cut with the compressed air. When you have a good compressed air system with the air dryer up to 13 bar, you don't need to 20, 25 bar, you can cut easily all these materials. So if you have compressed air, you only pay for the air cost. But if you don't have a compressed air system, you have to buy oxygen or nitrogen bundles. And you know, this is fiber laser. So because of that, the electrical consumption is very low of that machine. It is two kilowatt machine, including the filter and the chiller and all the access. It consumes as an hourly, as an hourly, it, it consumes like 18, 19 kilowatts per hour. So when you, when you add all these all this consumptions, like electric, cutting gas, the consumables, and some maintenance cost, you have to take care seven to eight euro, seven between eight euro per hour for the cost, cutting cost of the machine, including this. For the maintenance, we have one central lubrication system on that machine. And as you see, all the axes have some guiding systems like guiding rails, guiding cars, or some belt system to run the Z-axis. These systems, I also have some guiding cars, has to be replaced maybe once in a five years, something like that. So when you compare, when you take care of all of these consumptions, 
all of this maintenance costs, I normally tell to my customers, uh, you must calculate this machine cost you like 10 between 12 euro per hour. So when you are, when you are uh, counting your cost, uh, you, must, you must take this cost uh, on your paper. Actually, we are uh, almost every day calculating for our customers or potential customers on the computer. Also, we have just uh, published our application on the, uh, on the cell phones or on the computers. We call it, I have also this on my Durma, Durma calculator. So we can share with you and with your staff this Durma calculator. And when you select on the calculator, HTTC machine and two kilowatt. And when you write there your material type, the thickness and the dimensions of the material, automatically in a few seconds, you will get the cost of the machine. Like as I uh, explained to you. So you should only load the DXF or for the 2D DXF files, for the 3D step files, you load uh, to your application this drawing. And for example, you say, this is my drawing. You can load this drawing as a step file or IGES or SAT file. And this application is giving you exactly the cost of the part. So you can do this for any parts. Normally, we are giving this application free of charge to our real customers. But for example, if you want to buy our machine and if you want to test only this software for one month, we can open your application also for one month, something to test all the parts. This is separate actually. Durma Cloud is another system. We have Durma Cloud. Uh, Durma Cloud is a report uh, program when, uh, when you, you know, in the computer, in the Siemens computer, we have uh, all, the, all the information has been locked, has been recorded. So, for example, when you, caught, when you cut for one customer one month ago, two months ago, but you don't remember how many parts you have cut, which nozzle, which material you have used, you can easily connect your machine through Durma Cloud. And only to think that you have to have uh, the internet, the wireless, the Wi-Fi, just when you want to take the report. You don't need to connect the Wi-Fi every time on the machine, to the machine. Just when you will need to take the reports, so you connect to the machine through Wi-Fi and you, you can get all these reports uh, for any, any time distance, one month ago, two months ago, or yesterday or today, whenever. So Durma Cloud is a good reporting system. You can check everything uh, already cut by the material, the nozzle type, uh, cutting gas, how much, how many hours you have consumed, uh, nitrogen or oxygen. You can take graphically or visually all the reports from your machine. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is the sensor. You see, it is just just checking the line of the cutting area, and it is uh, on the software. It's it is communicating with the machine when the part had to be uh, cut, so it had to be separated. This sensor is detecting if it is already cut, finished, or not. So, I mean, it is not checking the contours, it's not checking the contours on the profile, but it is checking if the edge cutting is already done. So if it is separated from the profile. This is standard, helping of this sensor. Yeah, it is standard. Actually, you know, for, for all kinds of Durma machines, our uh, customers would like to uh, 
go around for another job, the operators, and want to machine continues to cut. Some customers, some customers practice that. Uh, so uh, normally for laser machines, my, my logic is even on the 2D machine, I would like to have always one operator just nearby the machine. But in Europe mostly, uh, or in the United States, uh, most of the customers uh, are, uh, are uh, doing like that, like you said. So they are just pressing the automatic start button and then just, just they are going away. So the machine is cutting all the tubes in the automatic uh, loading area, like 50 pieces, 60 pieces. And at the end of the cutting, they are collecting the materials. This is uh, working like that. Exactly. We have one solution. Yeah, we have solution actually, we have one solution. On the chain, on the back side, you can load only one type of profile, but also in the front area, in this area, we have semi-auto loading option. Up to, up to 10 stations, up to 10 stations, so even 10 different shape of or 10 different size of profiles, you can load on the semi-automatic loading option. So, I am thinking like that generally. You are cutting 50 pieces, same profiles on the automatic loading, but one customer comes or your supervisor comes to you and Hakan, please pause the job and cut these, these, these profiles. When you have this semi-front, semi-automatic loading option, you put all the tubes, you come to the task manager and when you write, the, when you call the program, like up to 10 different profiles to be cut, when you press start button, button you are pausing the front, uh, you are pa pausing the back automatic loading and you are inserting 10 different extra jobs. At the end of these 10 profiles, up to 10 profiles, you can come back to your remaining job, previous job. So in this machine, it's not possible. What when you buy the front semi-automatic loading option, it is possible. We have one machine in Holland is working like that. Exactly. There is a chain system. After the meeting, I would like to share with you the, our video. And on the system. You are manually putting all the profiles, I am repeating again, up to 10 different shapes on the chain. And you must, you must teach, you must write the order of the profiles correctly onto the software. This is important because this is, the control is on you now. So you must define all the profiles correctly, correct order and correct sizes on the software. It's working like that. You are right. Later, you can get it. It's attachment. Yeah, actually, what else? I can tell you our all automation and our electrical, electronic components are coming from Siemens. So it is really very important because when you buy the machine from Durma, when you need some, you know, it is electronic without any reason there is a risk of electric components failure, but easily you can locally find these components in your market. So this is very important. Our main strategy is use more common components for the laser industry all around the world, not specifically in Japan or in Germany, in United Sp United States or Argentina. We are trying to put all the components uh, wherever you go in the world, you can find easily in one, two days maximum. So why? Because we are serving with Siemens, the Presitec, IPG, and all other really big companies. Like on the guiding race, we are preferring Rexot Bosch components. There are so many different solutions, but we are preferring Rexot Bosch because this company products are available all around the world. And we are trying to use all standard products.
that special project for Duma. Shelf products, we call it. Hmm. Uh, we have a Laltec Insight option. We call it, it's not available on that machine. And for example, with helping of this software option on the control panel, uh, you can add some micro joints, you can cancel some micro joints, or you can play with the nesting. You know, uh, you cannot import any SAT or step files onto the computer, but you can play on the computer itself with already loaded, uh, already pro previously loaded drawings on the control panel. You cannot create a new program, but you can uh, revise some uh, previous programs on the control panel. So thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.